Search Engine Listing Preview The Search Engine Listing Preview is where you can customize how a page appears in search engine results. It's also where you can improve the discoverability of your products through search engines like Google. If you know what keywords your target customer is using to search for products like yours, you can work them into this section to increase your odds of showing up in search engine results over time. I used Ubersuggest, a free keyword research tool, to gauge how often people search for keywords related to my products. I spotted Abanero Sauce, 5,400 searches a month, and Mild Hot Sauce, 590 searches a month, and Medium Hot Sauce, 50 searches a month, as keywords I may want to work into my product page. Example Search Engine Listing Preview for Shopify Product Page We'll go into more depth about SEO later, but here are some quick tips for optimizing this section in the meantime. Page Title Write your page title so that it includes your target keywords while still being short and descriptive enough to click on. I'm going to focus on medium hot sauce since it's the most relevant to this product. Aim for under 60 characters if you can so it doesn't get cut off in search results. I'll be using hot enough habanero, medium hot sauce as my page title. Description Use this space to surface any compelling information that might persuade searchers to click through when they see a link to your product in search results or on social media. I try to keep it short and sweet while expanding on the information presented in my page title. URL and Handle Keep this simple, unique, and meaningful for people who are using search engines to find your product. I'll be using slash hot enough habanero. Once we're done, we can hit save and preview our product page to see what it looks like. We can change the little details, like colors and fonts, later on when we start customizing our store. You can repeat this for each product you want to add to your store, while keeping in mind that you don't need to add all your products in order to launch. Organizing your products into collections Now that we have at least a few individual products listed, we can start organizing them into collections under Product Greater Than Collections in Shopify. Collections can be created to curate products to target a specific audience, for example, products for children, a theme, for example, best sellers, or product category, for example, accessories. You can decide if you want to manually add products to certain collections or automate what gets included slash excluded based on price, tags, or other conditions. Collections serve a variety of purposes, such as Pulling certain products that you want to display in a section on your homepage Linking to collections of products in your navigation or on your homepage to help different audiences quickly navigate your catalog Curating items you want to put on sale, you can apply discounts to specific collection of products For now, I'll be creating a collection for our medium hot sauces that's because I want to only include my three individual hot sauce products while excluding the three-pack bundle. This way, I can show off the individual flavors and highlight the bundles separately. I'm going to fill out the collection title and description based on how I want to greet visitors when they land on this collection page. The search engine preview can be filled out using the same best practices we followed for the product pages. You can also set a collection image, which will be pulled to represent your collection when we get into customizing the look and feel of your online store. Shopify Collection Page Example 2. Create Key Pages for Your Online Store So far, we've focused on products. But your online store needs to do more than just have products to purchase. It needs to help shoppers understand your business, give them reasons to trust you, and make other essential details available to customers who are looking for them. You can create most of these pages under online store greater than pages. You don't need to have all your pages ready for launch, but some of the most helpful ones to create include Contact page This page gives customers clear ways to reach you if they have questions or points them to a place to find answers, such as an FAQ page. About page An about page connects personally with customers, explains your business model, and or shares the reason you started your business. A persuasive about page can go a long way in earning trust for new online stores. 
FAQ page. A frequently asked questions page helps alleviate some of the more common customer support inquiries. Policy pages. There are certain legal pages customers expect and that can help protect you in case of disputes, such as your return policy and privacy policy, that you can set up under settings greater than legal. For our store, and for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll go over how to create an about page, called our story, a contact page, and essential policy pages, privacy policy, shipping policy, and terms of service, but you can create whatever pages you think will help you earn your customer's trust. About page. About pages are a great way to embrace the small and small business and earn trust as a new store. You can have a video introducing yourself as a founder, links to awards and press mentions, images that explain your supply chain, or include anything that helps this page tell your customers who you are and what you're about. For Kinda Hot Sauce, we'll be creating a simple about page, written like a letter to the customer that explains our philosophy and our reason for starting the business. When someone visits my store and they're not quite sold on making a purchase, I want them to be met with an endearing and heartfelt message if they choose to visit my about page to learn more. Since we'll be relying mostly on text, I'll use the formatting options available in the toolbar to make the copy more eye-catching.